Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Thayre Baga and let's play some chess and try to be a bit aggressive today. I'll play some aggressive chess. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I'll take here. Let's start up the knight. Um, let's play pawn forward, blocking my bishop's diagonal. This is something new I've been trying to do. Let's go with the knight. Let's enter eventually. Okay, this blocks for now, but okay, kick the bishop away. Goes back and again push. I'll take you. How's pawn forward? One pad, I would say, because of course my knight defense once opponent's knight moves, I can take as well. Okay, goes to the other side of the board. Oh, let's plant the pawn for now. I missed restricted the opponent's knight now, cannot go to any useful squares. So, always a nice idea. Let's hit the bishop. Okay, bishop still doesn't give a check. I'm wondering why, so I'll take here. Develop the bishop next. Knight is of winning the knight. A knight can be centralized as well. Okay, what is that? Giving a free piece for the compensation of a check. What happens after that is I have to move. I can go here. I don't see much threats there. I'll take. Okay. This is protected. I can get my rook active as well now. Knight comes in hitting the pawn. So I think queen saves it. Not an issue. If bishop t uh, knight takes bishop, I can take back with the knight. Again, not a big threat. At least for now. Uh, let's hit the queen. It can be dangerous. Queen goes sideways. And maybe I can just ask for a queen trade. That should be winning. Um, yeah, we pretty good. Knight takes and then knight can also take back. Then up and can take a pawn maybe. But then I can give a check as well. I can do some stuff around it. Okay, takes. My opponent takes this, I think. Yep, takes the pawn. I have ideas of giving a check first. So that after my opponent moves the king, we can exchange queens off the board. That's a force queen exchange. I have extra piece. My opponent does take a pawn though. Uh, let's go up. Okay, uh, let's go with the knight maybe. This saves the pawns. Check comes in, I can defend with the rook. Check doesn't come anyway. Let's sidestep. From the harm's way okay and now i have ideas of restricting the rook but doesn't necessarily mean that it would work so i'll try and exchange rooks open cost plenty of pawns there so have to be a bit careful Side steps, which means I can go here, take control of the second rank. Pawn forward, I can take, I can take, let's take this one. I'll take this. Looks decent enough for now. Uh, I'll grab this one. Check, I have to go here. 
my knight is guarded so not a worry okay can go here open can give another check i come here approaching the opponent knight is being attacked so let's go here preparing for a folk this looks fine okay uh, let's move towards the opt comes up um let's go and change the rooks if possible does take i'll take as well let's go towards the opponent that's a check uh where should i go let's go here and i can go back okay i missed oh that's a folk my opponent missed too i missed the knight there trying to play fast on time that's a check i can come back give another check can go back let's go here i'll take a pawn okay trying to be fast on time oh that was close 1.5 seconds on the clock trying to be fast there <laughs> almost missed my night but yeah that works eventually it was a good game tried to of course that flagging thing um pretty much good in the beginning pushing my opponent's bishop backwards and then developing my pieces in a strong way pushing my opponent's bishop again and then i take the bishop opponent does take i push my pawn forward uh, then stabilize my pawn there attacking the bishop taking the bishop which gets taken back with the knight and then open sacrifices a piece trying to get some compensation but doesn't work and then i defend what's the tactic oh my opponent couldn't win a piece here queen takes knight queen takes queen and then a folk wins extra piece for the opponent uh this is kind of comeback for the opponent with a uh, extra pawn i would say so pretty and my king is in the center so opponent is pretty much in control here and can win from here comfortably i think but didn't see that coming and then tries to get extra pawns it's always nice and then i tried to force the issue by getting the queens exchanged and then my opponent takes a pawn for a compensation right knight move here trying to defend all the pawns and then just sidestepping and then getting the rook over to e opponent denies the exchange and then i try to hit the pawn i took the g pawn first and then the other one and then another pawn take and then i run towards the opponent's side and then this was all good knight comes in for a preparing for a folk um open this sees that coming despite being behind or almost same time that we had on clock and rooks open does take a pawn as a compensation so four so two pawns against a knight which always is tricky in the end game uh but then i was trying to play fast on time here and i did goof up somewhere i think yep uh, let's go here oh yeah this place i missed the knight and this was winning for the opponent but thankfully he was also pre-moving and took the pawn which led to a folk eventually and i take the knight, uh, the rook then and then just trying to hang on 
uh, could have taken the corner course. But when you're playing on time, you tend to miss a few moves. That was what uh, was going through. And this should have been a winning game, I would say, eventually. Or uh, a draw by least. Uh, if my opponent pushes the pawn, which was about to happen as a pre move, then I would have taken. And then two pawns, I can sack for a knight and then win with the rook and the king end game. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow again uh, with another interesting game of mine. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.